hello my lovely viewers and welcome once again to the channel of choice um, the Fozan home channel and in today's edition i'm going to look at um west ham um zero chelsea one and um the um occasion was the race for the top four in the epl 2020-21 season and um it was a fantastic display by chelsea and um before i give you the story of the match please do well to um, hit the subscribe button and touch the notification bell. Um, give me more likes and most importantly, send in your comment as well as um, share the program for more viewers to also join in the fan. Uh, if you are love of in love of sport, we love with sports. Do well to network and connect with this channel. Thanks very much for the support you've been giving me all this while. And um, this is a clear case of another tactical masterclass by Thomas Tuchel. Um, in this game because um, in most of the big games you could see that he's been having the upper hand against the other managers in the big game talk of the likes of Jose Mourinho before Mourinho uh, was um, sacked from Tottenham Spurs he beat him 1-0 there and then Carlo Ancelotti, Ancelotti defeated him 2-0 Pep Guardiola he defeated him 1-0 um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the drill zero zero uh, and then um, yeah in most of these games you could see that he's been coming um out tops and this game um was not an exception and um timo vena once again was the talking point because though he scored the goal for us in as many matches as possible timo vena was able to break um the virginity surrounding his barren run with respect to scoring goals um so he got the goal in this game but yet again he had he missed some sitters uh, some one sitter and then one v one with Fabianski. He couldn't utilize. Other than that, Chelsea would have gone away with three nil scoreline even before Akin Ziyech came in in the second half to also get his glaring chances at goal. And so Timo Werner is coming back again once again as a matter of fact. Um, and um, hopefully he may try to um, sharpen his skills ahead of the match against Real Madrid, Real Madrid coming on on Tuesday, as you are aware, the Champions League is coming back once again, and Chelsea is um, on the battlefront again against um, Real Madrid, and so um, that's we are going to watch out for Timo Werner to improve in this game, that's if he's given the opportunity to play, because um, Thomas Tokel is unpredictable with respect to his lineup, as he can shuffle his cards anytime you so wish, uh, depending on the match and tactics um, uh, at hand. A clear case of holding the ball so much by Chelsea to prevent West Ham United from hurting them on the break. And um, as you are aware, with this um, West Ham United team, they have players that can hurt you on the break. Yeah, the likes of um, Bo Mark Bowen and then Jesse Lingard. So many of them, even their, their defenders sometimes pop in into the attack. Thomas Sushek in midfield, quite a fantastic player there. And um, I must uh, say, um, David Moyes has built a formidable team in West Ham, irrespective of whether he comes out uh, and plays in the top four or not. I still would doff my heart out for him. And um, as a matter of fact, he may stand a chance of competing as a manager of the year uh, trophy. Now, that it depends on the, uh, what Thomas Tokel will do with his performance will go in the Champions League, as well as um, his ability to win the FA Cup will also depend on that. Other than that, um, David Moyes will be a solid competitor with respect to um, Best Manager of the Season um, Award and also the Lending Manager of the Season Award. As you are aware, Lending Clubs, we also have our award there. The likes of Chelsea, Tottenham Spurs, Arsenal, West Ham, Crystal Palace and the like, they have their award there in Lending. He and Thomas Tuchel may compete for that award. And um, the win uh, for Chelsea uh, uh, was that crucial because I would say perhaps Chelsea was the side that needed the win uh, the more than West Ham, considering the run of fixtures that Chelsea will face um, leading to the end of the season. Chelsea will have difficult games coming up, the likes of Leicester City, Fulham, and some wonderful games coming up. And so Chelsea will need to um, uh, get these points done. And uh, as compared to, in comparison to West Ham United, West Ham uh, have some games that they can easily negotiate. Liverpool also have some games that they can easily negotiate. But Liverpool is having difficulty with respect to getting the three points as they were held 1-1 one, one, once again. After Leeds United held them um, this weekend, they were held 1-1 one, one, once again. Excuse me.
Yeah, and so they were held 1-1 one, one once again. Liverpool also doing badly in the uh, in the top four running. But uh, let me look at the ratings for the players. The ratings for the players, as you have, uh, most of them had positive run because um, obviously Chelsea won the game, and so they will have positive and the likes of Edward Mendy. And another positive and solid news for Edward Mendy is that he had a clean sheet in goal. Another. Uh, clean sheet there now. Chelsea's um, co-keepers are having clean sheet. Most importantly, uh, Edu Mendy is having it both in Europe and in the Premiership. As Pele Kuta also got a positive rating. Christensen a positive rating. Rudiger, Chilwell, and then the, and in the one peculiar thing that happened in this game is that the As Kuta played in the um, right defending attacking wing position for Chelsea. The defending wing back position for Chelsea. It's a wing defensive or attacking depending on how the game shapes up. You know, as you are aware, they line on the field on part of defense, but they can attack as well as come back to defend. So it depends on how you may choose to call that position. It's a wing back position. And then Thiago Silva, also excellent. Mason Mount, also um, excellent. And then we have Timo Werner getting the goal. Pulisic, also excellent there. Yeah. So it was a fantastic day for Chelsea players. I believe we could have won the game by more than the one a goal that we had on the field. Yeah. So this is the um, display there. Timo Werner running to celebrate the goal once again, as you can see. Yeah. And so, yeah, same semblance there for you. Yeah, and so we have West Ham United Chelsea. That was that's the goal uh, at the by uh, snapping the camera from the back of the net. That's the goal, the display of the goal. The Timo Werner celebrating there. That's this another pictorial angle trying to try to depict how the goal was scored. If you haven't um, uh, 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 subscribed to the channel, please do all uh, to hit the subscribe button and then spread the good news to your friends, um, send in your comment, as well as um, share the program for many viewers to also join in the fun as well as the celebration. This is where I draw down the curtains on today's show. Um, I must say thank you for spending your golden opportunity to engage with me on this channel. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I love you wherever you are. I believe and trust the good work that you are doing. Continue to spread the good message. Bye-bye. Peace be with you.